good morning, you guys. It is uh, five in the morning. I'm so tired. We are going to attempt to go watch the sunrise. And the reason I say attempt is because it's raining on the island again today. This is what I was talking about when I said I washed my hair and because of what I put on my body to tan. It's like a mix of like the salt water and the stuff that I put on my body to tan. And so then my hair just like, it looks so bad. It looks so dirty. But I swear, like my hair is fully clean. I just washed my hair. I think there's just so much different stuff in my hair. My hair is just like gripping onto that. It's just not cute. Whatever. We're gonna go watch the sunrise. It's about 5.20 in the morning and we are getting out of here. Oh, it's cold in here. Oh. But yeah, I'm trying not to wake anybody up. Where's my jacket? Because I thought it, oh, there it is. Okay, I was about to be so salty. Anyways, I'm trying to be quiet so I don't wake anybody up, but I walked out the door and then realized that I didn't have my, like, I don't think I have an SD card in my drone. And so I was like, shoot, I gotta turn around and go right back inside. There wasn't really anywhere I was going with that story, now that I think about it. Just that I was trying to be quiet and was struggling to be quiet. We are going, obviously, to east side. It's funny because I've watched pretty much every sunrise so far, but I haven't gone to a beach and watched them. I've just watched them on like the lanai. So it's nice to like go to the beach today and watch it. There's only one beach that I will watch sunrise at. Well, that's a lie. There's only one beach that I have watched sunrise at, and it's, it would be really hard to beat that. So, why does that say negative 38 degrees Fahrenheit? I don't know, we're going to watch sunrise. automatically assume that it's so busy because I feel like it's such a well-known beach. Hopefully you can hear me, but I don't think we're gonna get as pretty of a sunrise as we got back in December. Still gorgeous. We'll talk on the car ride back home, but I needed this one. It's another turtle right here. I just saw him pop his head up. The sun is just barely peeking through with all these clouds. But it's peaking, it's coming. So we might get a good sunset after, or sunrise after all. I'm not even gonna lie, that was cold. Successful trip, super, honestly, that was, I needed that. To say the very least, I desperately needed that. But I am freezing, that's for sure. My sweatshirt was like sticking to me, not comfortable at all. We survived, we did it. Definitely was cold, but without wanting to break down and cry, I needed that. I needed what just happened. At the beginning of this video, well, the Hawaii series. I talked about how like, oh my God, nope, it's coming out. At the beginning of this series, I talked about how this was like a soul trip. Like I needed this trip and it just worked out that so many things worked out that I was able to come on this trip now. The end of last year was just so hard and because it was so close to the end of the year, it kind of carried into this year. And so this is just like four months of emotions just building up being so hard Hang on. so i guess as if me crying about my own wasn't enough this guy i think this was on camera still this man walks up to me and i saw him on the beach he was like metal detecting so like it wasn't like 
super weird. And he's like, hey, like I locked my keys in my car. I'm half blind, can you help me? And I'm like, yeah, of course, like no problem. Mind you, it's a van. So like what I'm used to is like you don't help a guy in a van. For some reason, I just like felt it like let's help this guy. And so I went and I helped him and I just like basically looked through the driver's side door and watched him as he like stuck a rod down and pulled the uh, thing out. I really hope he wasn't stealing that car because if he was, then uh, shoot. After I helped him, we got obviously it open. He said, don't leave. I have something for you. And I thought it was just gonna be like a seashell or like something simple. This dude goes in an envelope and he just hands me a hundred dollar bill and he wouldn't take it back. Like, I don't need this hundred dollar bill. I'm super thankful for it, obviously, but I don't need that. And so I was like, sir, like, I don't need this. Please keep it. He was like, nope, I'm gonna cry it, like, if you don't keep it. Like, wh what? What is my life right now? Today is my day of, like, this is my emotional roller coaster day that I've been waiting to happen for two weeks. <laughs> I don't even know where I was when I was talking before. Basically, I'm just gonna yeah, restart a little bit. So I'm sorry if I repeat myself. I talked about how like hard the end of last year was. And because what happened happened so close to the end of the year, it led into this year. And so this is just like four and a half months of just built up emotion and healing from the stuff that I never healed from. And today was that day. Like this was a soul trip. This was like, like I said, there's several different reasons that I came here. The main one, I said yes to because I knew I needed this. I'm just so thankful. And that poor man, like I did not want to take his money but you wouldn't let me not take it. Today's my cry it out day. Cause I've had moments where I just get like teary eyed, but those are just like, life is beautiful. Like wanting to cry because life is so beautiful. I always thought that those moments would turn into like healing from the things I haven't healed from yet, but they haven't. And I'm probably gonna just cry it out my whole ride home. And then probably get coffee today. And we might be doing something else today as well. I think there comes a point when you realize that like, it doesn't matter how many people like, kind of screw you over, there's still good people in the world. And I think that's been one of my hardest things after everything that happened is like realizing that not everybody's like a bad person. And so like, that man has my heart. And I'm ready to just like, scream cry it out. I don't think I've cried this much on camera in a long time. Bear with me here, people. So, we're gonna say this. If you've ever felt like there's no good people left in the world because somebody hurts you so bad, this is your reminder that there's good people in the world. Just give it time. And honestly, like for me, that man found me. I guess what I'm just trying to say is like, don't judge everybody based off one person. Try not to like let that happen. That's what I'm, learning myself and that's what i'm gonna tell you guys with that being said we're gonna drive thank you guys for surviving through my cry moment there i still have so many more tears that i need to cry i'm just trying to keep it together because the camera's on still it's been eating at me because i can't take this money from this guy and not like do anything so I thought this Starbucks had a drive-thru because I looked up Starbucks with drive throughs and it says available drive-thru. I don't understand. Because this Starbucks is so dead. So I can't, there's like literally there's nobody here besides people that are already drinking drinks. Find somewhere that has like a drive-thru or something just because I feel like a drive-thru is the easiest. Because I also like the idea of like somebody not seeing me and seeing that I'm the one paying for them. I don't know why. I just, like I don't want these people to sit here and say thank you to me or anything like that. Oh, I'm stumped, I'm stumped, I'm stumped, I'm stumped. There's no Starbucks that have drive throughs So we switched gears and we came into McDonald's because I like their caramel frappes. So here we are. And then I was dead, there was nobody behind me. And so, I was like, what the heck? I'm not winning here. And somebody pulled behind me, so we're gonna be able to uh, to do this. Oh, also I didn't cry it out as much as I thought I would on my drive home, so I probably could use a little bit more of crying it out. Can I pay for the person behind me as well? Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, have a great one. Payment has been made. Thank you so much, have a great one. Now we're going home, and I'm also pretty sure that 
the guy behind me paid for the person that was behind him. Unless he had two orders, or McDonald's decided to charge him two. I don't know, but he still plugged it, he put his card in, but that was good. And I liked it because I don't have to worry about anybody saying thank you or like anything like that, like just for doing something nice. So doing it in a drive-thru was 100% the way to go. This is such a good start to the morning. Life is so special. Also, I haven't eaten out in so long. And in fact, I gave up like eating out for lunch. And so I finally am eating my breakfast burritos. Now we're back home, I'm gonna eat my breakfast. We're gonna hang out for a little bit and then I don't know what else we got planned today. So my sister has off of work today, so she's available. So I don't know what she's gonna be up to today. How many times have I said today in this clip? I don't know, let's go eat. We're back in the car. I'm trying to decide if I should go back inside and get my extra SD cards or if I'm good. So I have an hour and a half of footage. I think I'll be fine. We're gonna drive up to North Shore just because on east side it's still super windy. We have made it to the beach, obviously, as you can see. Wow, it is literally so dead. I don't know if nobody comes to the beach this early or it was raining here earlier, so maybe that's why just nobody came until after it stopped raining but it is dead like it's always dead in this parking lot that i'm in it's like extra dead i feel like but regardless we're gonna go chill on the beach it's a little bit windy but again nothing compared to east side so i will take it see if we can get more tan before we leave on tuesday sad days i feel like i just got here but I didn't, like, it's weird because I feel like I've been out here for forever, but I also feel like I just got here. Am I the only person that, like, experiences that? Like, you know, I feel like all the time when people leave somewhere, they're like, I feel like I just got here. Like, I feel like that's normal. Like, a trip goes by fast, but, like, I feel like... I've been here for forever, but at the same time, I feel like I just got here two days ago. I think it was just earlier, I was thinking about something. Oh, I was thinking about when, like, one of the, within the first couple of nights that I was here, we went to like, buy like the food trucks, one of the like, groups of food trucks. And I was like, man, that feels like so long ago. But then on the flip side, I feel like I just got here yesterday. So it's like so weird. But like, I've been here for almost three weeks. Literally, I leave a day before it would hit three weeks because I landed here on a Wednesday and I leave on Tuesday. So it's so weird. I also feel like I'm not, like, you can't tell I spent three weeks in Hawaii. I feel like I'm not that tan. Does I get really tan? I don't know. You can see, like, I have a tan line literally by my hair. I have tan lines for sure. No doubt about that. But, I don't know. I feel like I should be more tan. Maybe that's just me convincing myself to not leave. Guys, should I move here? Should I low-key just, like, say screw it and move to Hawaii? That'd make content fun, right? Wouldn't it? I'd have to do more, obviously, than just hang on the beach, but because I only do weekly videos right now, I don't think it would be that much because I could have my days that I don't film that I come and chill on the beach, and then days where I do film where I go to a waterfall or like, I don't know, something fun. I think it would definitely challenge my creativity because while there is so much to do on the island, there's also nothing to do on the island. No, that's a lie. Okay, stop, wait. There's so much to do on the island, but it's all similar stuff, I feel like. I don't know. I've been trying to, like, go back on my videos recently and, like, just watch a bunch of them. Like, pre-Ohio, during Ohio. Basically, anywhere that I've lived or visited that I would go back to. So, like, Ohio. I liked North Carolina when we went. I actually really liked Texas when we went. I didn't feel like it was, like, psychotically hot. Um... Chicago, downtown, and suburbs. Hawaii, obviously. And so I've been trying to like watch those videos and see like where I look happiest. But then also with that, obviously I've to take into account like what was going on in my life at that time. Like was there anything that was hard that I was going through or was life going pretty good at that point? LA, I loved LA, but could I live in LA? I don't know. I feel like that's a hard question to answer when I'm currently in Hawaii, where like I do have the city, but I can also escape the city. California could be like that. I don't know. I've, I don't feel like I spent enough time 
in a lot of places to be like, oh yeah, I could live here. South Carolina, I've spent a lot of time there. I loved it. I think I could live there. And obviously family is a big one. And I think hey, you're gonna have to bear with me because it's been an emotional day for me. Obviously majority of my family is in Illinois. I think everybody knows that. All my grandparents, my parents, like everybody except for my siblings, besides one of my siblings that is still in Illinois. But then on the flip side, I have two siblings on island and it's been my favorite thing in the world to get to be like Sean and Sam's little sister again. When I meet new people and they're like, this is my little sister. Or like, I introduce myself, I'm blah blah blah's little sister. Like, I love that. That makes like my inner child so happy in a way that like, I can't even explain. I think especially because my two siblings that are here are the two siblings that I'm closest with. Like, you guys know Sean. I've talked about him in so many videos at this point. Like, me and him are super close. Me and Sam, super close. Like, there's literally a trend on TikTok right now. And it's like, only older siblings would understand. And it's like videos of like their younger siblings growing up. And like, obviously I don't experience that. I get that with my little cousins and my nieces, of course, who are so old. Literally just the other day I had to text my niece and be like, you're in sixth grade still, right? Like, you're not older. Being the youngest, I watched all of my siblings leave home until it was just me left. And like, my sister stayed at home for a long time, and so that was super nice. Like, she moved out right, right before I went to college. And then we were in the city together, though. Like, I was a 15 minute walk to her place. You guys saw it, I went to her place all the time. I did always have at least like my sister close, but like my brother has been gone for as pretty much as long as I can remember just because he joined the military. And I think there's something special about that. Like there's definitely something so special about not being close to your siblings all the time because it makes it that much more special when you see them after you haven't seen them for a while. So like in that sense, like I'm super thankful for that. And like obviously, especially as a younger sibling, the youngest sibling, like, I look up to all my siblings, obviously. There's so many things, I think, that I take from each of them, and that's what makes me me. And obviously my parents are included in that. So, like, I want to see them do the best. I want to see them live the life that is best for them and makes them happiest. And for right now, at least, that's two of my siblings in Hawaii, one of them in Florida, and me bouncing all over the place at the moment. I don't know. At the same time, like, my inner child is just so happy when I'm with my siblings. And like I said, like being the little sister again has just been one of my favorite things about this trip, I think. And so I don't know, that makes me wonder if maybe like being by more siblings is where I'm supposed to be. Regardless, we're here and I'm super thankful to be here. And where I decide to go is wherever I decide to go whenever that time is right. Right now I like bouncing around. Like I have no shame in being a sibling that is all over the place. Like I've gotten to live several different places in like not a like super long time. It blows my mind when I think about the fact that it hasn't even been a year yet since I dropped out of college. Like that's crazy to me because I feel like it's been forever, especially with how much stuff I've gotten to do since. Anyways. I think I should probably stop my rampage here. I don't even know if you guys are interested in listening to it, but I just felt like sharing. Today's my emotion day. So today's my like feeling my emotions and talking day, I think. There's also these people parked right across from me that have like a, one of those old fashioned like Volks Volks Volkswagen vans. Is that what it's called? Or maybe it's just Volkswagens. I don't know, whatever it is, but it looks like they live out of it, and so I'm really intrigued by that too. It's just like downpouring right now. Hold on the camera because it was just barely drizzling. No, I'm sorry, downpouring. Okay, hang on, stand by. Okay, as I was saying before the rain interrupted me, it started raining and it was a little bit hard. Then it chilled out, then it just kind of all came out. So what I did was I went and I moved my car from the parking lot that I usually park in right along the beach. So like literally the water's right there. So now, I just popped my trunk open, and that gives me some visualization. Sun comes back out, I can just close the trunk and go right back on the beach. But until then, we are just chilling in the trunk. Yeah, it's just a matter of watching the clouds, and now if it starts raining again, my car's right here, so I can literally just run to my car. What a great way to end this trip. It looks like the rain has passed us. I'm leaving the car here, so that if the rain comes back again, 
I can just run to the car. And we'll just hope that it doesn't come back. The wind is picking up again, but that's not necessarily the worst thing. Keys are there. All right, let's go back and lay on the beach again. Oh, that was it. Are you serious? Change of plans. <laughs> the rain started the second I closed my trunk. <laughs> Maybe we're gonna hang in here just a little bit longer. I'm gonna chill here and then I don't know if I said it already or not, but I brought my hammock. So if I decide I want to go chill in my hammock, I'll do that. It's almost about four o'clock now. So I've been at the beach for like five hours now, five and a half hours, which is crazy. Cause I'm not sunburned at all besides like a little bit on my chest. But other than that, we are chilling. Unless there's sunburn somewhere that I haven't noticed, which is very well possible. But the UV is going down obviously, so I think think and my phone died okay i'm gonna have to go plug my phone in currently on the hunt to figure out which pocket of my backpack i put the keys in and i have to pee really bad okay serious question since i said that have i talked about this already in this video i feel like i have is peeing in the ocean okay or is it like bad or like nasty i'm just curious I, I want to know people's opinions on that. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but I think there's a lot of people that do think there's something wrong with it. Oh my gosh, my key in, was in that pocket the entire time. That's the first pocket I checked. But anyways, I texted Sam and Chris to see what they were up to because obviously my UV is going bye-bye. My face is looking a little bit red, but like, again, it's mainly my cheeks and my cheeks always get red. Like that's super common for my cheeks to get red. So yeah, I'm not like stressing about that too much. Other than that, my body looks pretty good, sunburn wise, obviously. And what else? That's like it. You know what I can't figure out recently? The whole switcheroo thingy. Um, you know how rear view mirrors have that switch on the bottom for like when there's super bright headlights behind you? Yeah, I can't figure out how that works. Cause the mirror isn't, the mirror's straight. Like there's no like, curvature in it but for some reason when you just flip that who knows I need my phone to charge so I'm gonna sit in here while it charges and then after that maybe I'll go back and chill on the beach a little bit longer but I still really have to pee I just got off the phone with Sam I've kind of just been chilling in the car for like 30 minutes or so but we are going to go to a different beach which is legit just right down the road and just like that, it is the next morning. Good, beautiful morning, my friends. Happy Sunday. It is church day. But before we go to church, we're gonna go watch the sunrise again. Yesterday's sunrise was just like so good for me and so special and everything. So I figured I have to go watch another one before I leave. And so here we are. Today's plan is a little bit crazy. No, it's actually really not. Um, it's just the morning. That's a little bit hectic and then I have no idea what the plan is after that but this morning we are going to watch the sunrise we're going to the east side we're gonna go to the same place that I went to yesterday just because as I said that's literally one of my favorite beaches on island and then from there we gotta leave there about like 7 7 15 or so because then we gotta go all the way to west side for church so we are uh, hitting east and west side this beautiful morning yesterday i didn't leave until uh eight or so mainly because i was dreading getting in the water and i think i'm gonna jump in the water i think i think god will forgive me if i show up to church with wet hair uh for jumping in the ocean that he created we're getting down to the nitty gritty here i've got today and then tomorrow and we leave on Tuesday. Hopefully it's a little bit less windy today and ideally a little bit warmer. Today I wore long pants and a sweatshirt. I don't know, I'm kind of banking on it being being warmer than it was yesterday. We did the sunrise and we did the beach jump. It was definitely warmer today than it was yesterday. I'm still gonna turn the heat on pretty high because I'm still freezing. I'll tell you, getting up is hard. Like getting up early is, is hard. I will never say that it's not hard, but there's something so special about it. Like I think I got like, I think I got all of my emotions out yesterday that I needed to kind of get out. But still, it's just like, even today, until the sun was actually like up more, it was pretty dead. And so it 
it was just like super peaceful. And then I had people like come and they ended up kind of right like next to me and stuff. I gotta take my case off because I think my phone went into the water a little bit. People ended up coming next to me. <sighs> Honestly, like the water today felt warmer than it was outside, which is weird because it didn't really feel like that yesterday. And I think it was colder outside yesterday than it was today. But I know that it's like getting towards the end of like winter, which is just like rainy season, I think. I'm actually leaving here a lot earlier than I thought I would. It's only uh, like 6.50 in the morning right now. We are going to uh, be able to make it back to the house and drive with Sean for church. And then I actually have enough time also to shower before church, which I probably will do. So I was gonna chill on the beach a little bit longer, but it looked like it was gonna rain, not necessarily on me, but on the way home. And I would like to avoid driving in the rain if I can, because I'm so tired. I get distracted easier when I'm tired. My brain is definitely working uh, a little bit slow this morning. But regardless, we're gonna go home, get ready, go to church, and get this Sunday going. At this point, it's no secret that I love the east side, but I wanted to show you guys one of the reasons that I love going to the east side, and this is it. Like, this view, just driving down the highway, it literally looks like a painting. Then you keep driving, and you're driving under, and then you get this view on the right, which is like, I always try to show y'all, but like it's so hard to show you guys. Just the whole drive, everything about it is just my favorite thing in the world. So yeah, I feel like I've done a fairly good job at showing you why I like East Side. Hello, you beautiful people. We back. It is uh, post-church, post-running a few errands and we're going to the beach. We're going to a new beach because I was gonna go to the same beach that I've been going to, the same one that I was at yesterday, and Sean said that I need to see more of the island. And I was like, oh, I've seen every side of it. Just spent the most time on east side and north shore, and so he said, like, have you been to blah, blah, blah? I don't remember what it was called. And I was like, nope, never even heard of it. He said, well, you should go there. And he sent it to me, and it was on the east side, and I'm like, Bruh, this is on the east side. I'm trying to avoid the east side because the east side has like a bunch of winds coming in. I was like, no, no sir, no east side for me. So he sent me this other place that's on west side. I went to west side first day I was here, like literally first day, like picked up from the airport, got dressed, went to west side. And I haven't been to the west side since that I can remember. So I was like, all right, fine, we'll go to west side. It's an hour drive but it shouldn't be too terrible. The reason it's an hour drive is just because of how the highways on island work. Gas has been acquired. We are good to go and begin driving. We've been hanging at the beach for, I gosh, I don't even know how long. Probably like three hours. Two, three hours would be my guess. It is gorgeous here. I'm gonna show you guys this view. Ocean. And then you're literally just surrounded by the mountains. I genuinely don't think I could ask for like, like look at that. Yeah, it's gorgeous, to say the very, very least. The UV is like a two, so it's really not anything. So I'm gonna head out because the wind is starting to pick up as well. I'm gonna go to the car. I'm cold. Okay, I'm back at the car. And I just wanted to like, oh sorry, I had my keys in my mouth. I just wanna give you guys like another view of this. Like that's crazy. That's a house right there, I'm pretty sure. Basically, to say the very least, this is stunning. Like, tell me it doesn't look like I'm in front of a backdrop right now. We're now going to leave. So that's not the right charger. That's the drone charger. Here I am thinking I broke my charger port again. I didn't. It's okay. The car's just not on. We're gonna go back home. We got an hour drive home. I really have to pee. There was a place that I wanted to stop at on the way home, but they closed at five. And it's like, I think I was like 20 minutes away. And so that would have, like when I saw it, when I was like, okay, I'm kind of getting done with the beach. Like I'm ready to go. Cause I didn't look at it when I initially saw it. I was like, okay, I could go now. But like, then I'm showing up like 10 to 15 minutes before they close. And I feel like nobody likes that. And so I'm just gonna not do that. Between dogs and children here right now, God is with me. If I, what the heck? 
there was a little kid pouring, and, and the little kid doesn't know better, I, I think. Probably like a eight year old pouring water down a, like, probably 14 year old's shirt. Anyways, the view is gorgeous. I am happy that I came to the west side. I'm happy that Sean was like, nope, like go somewhere new. Anyways, we're gonna continue driving. Enjoy this little montage of the view because it's too gorgeous to not share with you. last full day here on island and I am very upset about it but regardless that's okay that just means we're gonna come back we don't even have that much planned today honestly like it's gonna be a mellow day basically I this morning have been editing and transferring footage off of SD cards getting everything on my hard drive I have more footage than I know what to do with so editing this is gonna be quite overwhelming but that's okay but regardless I just finished that and then got dressed and we are going to go to Honolulu today come on Nix let's go come on this is what she does every day Game plan for today. Go to the beach, spend a little bit of time on the beach, and this is gonna be a new beach as well. After that, we're going to go to the salon, and then we're gonna get our hair done, and then after that, we will most likely drive up to North Shore. I've decided that since we are on our last day, we should do like a car jam out. I loved that terrible jam out session. We've made it to. Oh, that was a bigger bump than I thought it was gonna be. Hello. Yeah, I'm gonna no. fix my hair. I don't know. Sam's trying to teach me some hair TikTok. She comes. Maybe I should switch to yours. Hair Hello. completed. Welcome to the Hawaii vlog. Hair is done. This is the This look. is Hawaii vlog. This is part like four. Hawaii vlog part four. New hair. What's good? We are blonde again. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way up to North Shore. So we're gonna go up to North Shore, get my favorite smoothie bowl place ever, and it will be the last time on this trip that I get it. We leave tomorrow. I officially checked in for my flight already. Sad days. I'm excited to go home. Like as much as I keep you know, like dreading it and talking smack and whatnot. Like I am genuinely excited to go home, but I'm not excited to leave here. I'm just excited to see my parents and the puppies. We're gonna end up doing a car jam out because we didn't get a very good one before. <laughs> and I thought I had an extra battery with me but the extra battery that I had was also dead I didn't remember using the one that was actually full so we're back home I ended up getting a smoothie bowl and 
I ended up getting a smoothie bowl and chilling and watching the sunset. So, pretty solid spot and way to end three weeks in Hawaii. But the trip has officially come to an end. It's time to deal with the mess. And just like that, we are pretty much fully packed. I love you guys. I will see you. Oh, I forgot to pack my lotion. I will see you tomorrow. I'm just going to acknowledge really quick that that felt like back when I was doing daily vlogs. That was weird. Okay, good night. Good beautiful morning, you guys. We are enjoying the last bit of sunshine that we're going to get for a little bit and uh, finishing up getting everything packed away. We've got trackers charging right there, Apple Watch charging there, stuff I still have to clean up. This, for the most part, it's packed up. Camera bag pretty much packed. That stuff's all going to my sister. It has been an active morning between packing, cleaning the car, everything. And uh, I just brushed my teeth, which is the last thing I was going to do pretty much besides like grabbing phone chargers and computers and chargers and whatnot, which means we are done. This chair has been sitting here since I got here. Three weeks ago, I sat right here. It's not tan at all. Totally different mindset. That's crazy. It's funny because I'm as sad to leave here as I usually am when I leave like my parents' house. And I don't know if it's necessarily like leaving here or leaving my siblings, knowing that I'm leaving in such a different mindset. Maybe it's like just a little bit of everything. I don't know, but we survived three weeks in Hawaii. Whoa, that was weird noise. There's a lot I didn't do. Snorkeling, I didn't do any snorkeling this time. Before I come back here or like go somewhere else tropical, I would say there's like a 90% chance that I'm gonna buy a smaller camera, like similar to my G7X that I had, because it would just make life so much easier. Cause like that camera is like smaller than my hand. Like I can wrap my hand around it. And so that can go into like a waterproof bag super easily if I want to go snorkeling or like anything like that. Obviously, you guys have seen the size of my camera. Like, she's not fitting in a waterproof bag that's ideal to go like snorkeling or anything with. So, obviously the biggest was just healing from things that I have needed to heal from. And uh, just dealing with those emotions that I've put on the back burner for months now. Certain things, it takes more than just a day of crying it out to fully heal, or more than just a three week trip to an island to fully heal, but it's a start. And I think it's a big start to continue healing from all those things. We got tan, we had a good trip, now it's time to go home.